Hi there, this is Mark II. It wasn't supposed to start like this, but it's going to start like this. I'm going to cut now to uh, a little incident over at the XP farm. Hang on. Okay, this is important. We're over here at the, uh, what we call this thing, the XP farm. See that chicken in there? We had a uh, chicken jockey. Since uh, 1.7.4, you can find yourself in a situation where you have uh, little kid zombies riding the chicken. They seem to come apart. I found one over in the uh, uh, the XP farm over by the um, the XP the the zombie spawner XP grinder over by the uh, tough chicken. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Um, and. I couldn't figure it out at first, and then I realized, oh yeah, the uh, they have zombie or, or chicken jockeys now, little kid zombies. So we'll see those every now and then. They're kind of more of a nuisance, I think, than anything else. These spiders are pesky. Get a sword in on this guy. There we go. Okay. But it is good to see that the XP farm's working well. Hey, is that a witch? Is that a witch up there? Let's see. Or is that a spider? No, I think it was just the way the spiders were wrapping around something. Looked kind of like a witch. Not a witch, though. Alright. I'm still working on getting the clay. I haven't gotten any clay yet. We'll get clay in a minute. After I can kill that zombie with an egg. Alright. I'll be back in about one second. This time I... Well, I don't know. I might or might not have clay. But I'll be back in about one second anyway. Okay, here we are. Secret hidey hole. Way to the north of the ranch. Looks like it's about dawn. So we're going to be ready to make our run for it. I came up here looking for clay. I found a little bit of clay. I found some uh, new flowers, peonies, rose bushes. Taking them back to the ranch for experimentation. Let's see here. We've got to wait for the uh, sun to rise. And I believe this is actually... What direction is it? South. Okay, so... I mean, that way is west. So, yeah. Yeah, the sun's coming up over in that direction somewhere. So when we come out of here, there's probably going to be uh, possibly bad guys. We have to be ready for it. So we're going to make our break for it. I'm not hearing anything burning up. So with my luck, they're going to be um, like right above me. I don't have my um, diving helmet either. I'll tell you one thing that I recommend. If you ever go out looking for clay, don't forget your diving helmet. Now what we have over here is just a plains, and I don't see any horses, so nothing new. Uh-oh, you see that? Just as I suspected. Creepers. Oops. There we go. something waiting for me out here. Any more? No.
Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any horses here in this plains. Anyway, I just... Oh, wow. There's some more new flowers. Let's see. What do we have here? This one's a... Uh, an ox eye daisy. I'm sure that's good for something. Let's grab a few. Some of these new flower. Oh my, look at what we found. It's a village. Wow. I wonder if all the villagers have been killed because I've been over here and all the zombies came and killed them. It's entirely. Nope. Still villagers. All right. Let's see what. If I had known there was a village here, I could have. Um, he wants ten gravel and an emerald for five flint. Sorry, I don't happen to have any emeralds on me. Uh, he wants three emeralds for a flint and steel. This is a fairly expensive village, but look at all the villagers. This is pretty big. I only have one other village, and I don't think I've ever shown it on um, on a video. So what we're looking for here is... Uh, the blacksmiths, which I think sometimes the blacksmith. Ooh, two diamonds. All right, and that's good. And uh, we'll take this too. They'll never miss it. Don't worry. So awesome! I had not found a well-stocked village before, so that's new. He wants 16 coal for an emerald. That's not bad. I don't have any coal, though. This is a fairly big village. As far as I know. Oh, and look. Mushrooms. I wonder if that's one of those uh, mycelium areas or podzol areas or something. What I don't want to do... Well, actually, it's okay here because uh, we're not on... Um, we're not on hard mode. I play on normal. So what that means is um, the uh, uh, hole in the ground. That means that the the zombies can't break through the doors. So as long as the villagers have enough sense to make it indoors at night, which they generally do, um, they'll be fine. And this, I believe, is one of those roof forests. Let's see here. Yep, roof forest. This is a new uh, forest type here. And these are so dark they can actually have mobs in them during the day. So I would like to uh, collect one of these trees and hopefully um, get some... Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to throw that away. Okay, and hopefully get some um, um, saplings so I can take it back and uh, back to the secret laboratory deep beneath the ocean where we can uh, do some um, experimentation and try to grow some of these things. Meanwhile, this is not an entirely safe place. What we need to do is dig our way up. I don't know if that branch belongs to this tree or the, the other tree, the one next to it. These are sure big trees, aren't they? Okay. And that move. I think that's a different tree. I think that's just regular oak there. Spider coming. Okay. 
Now, I wonder if I got enough of that uh, that tree. Is that an apple? I think so. Yeah. Can always use an apple. So anyway, hopefully uh, we can get some saplings as that tree decays. I can remember where it is. Over right here, yeah. And if not, we'll have to take another one. This has been uh, an extremely uh, valuable, and I really, I had no idea there was a village there. It got to be dark, and I decided to dig a hidey hole. Ah, got one. But the dark oak, you've got to have four saplings in order to grow one. So I need three more in order to, uh, in order to grow one. So, therefore, we'll have to uh, chop down another one, I guess. Wait a minute. It looks like there might be one up in there. Uh, maybe not. So, anyway, that's where we're at now. And this might be enough for an adventure. You hear that? Zombie. And they can be in there. That's what I was saying. These things can be dark enough. These roof forests, forests can be dark enough to uh, permit daylight uh, mobs. Uh, they stay very dark. Anyway. Oh, there's also this cave here. So they could be down there. Quite a cave. We could uh, light this up a little bit. Or maybe not. It looked like it was easier to get down there than it, it might be. And it looks like it's just one of those big caverns that doesn't really lead anywhere. So here we are in the tall grass. Okay. Alright, anyway, this is probably enough for an episode. So, um... This is where we're at. This is a little more excitement than I was thinking that we were going to have looking for clay. Got a little bit of clay. There's this tall thing over there. What is that? And um, got us a village. That's very important. If I could get down there, I don't didn't bring a pick with me because all I was hoping to get was clay. That's how smart I am. Could have found a mesa biome instead of plains and roof forests and all that, and I would have been able to get clay in abundance. However, I didn't bring a pick with me because that's just how brilliant I am. So anyway, just for just for good measure though, let's light up this little piece of cave here. Just so we can say we did it. Yeah, there's a skelly in there. Let's see how we're going to take him out. Oh, witch! Get the witch! Ah, poison. I don't want to be down here and be poisoned. So I'm going to have to... Uh, run up here let the poison the poison is probably going to take me down to half a heart and uh, hopefully it won't kill me there we go well didn't take me all only took it down to three hearts okay I made a map let's see here now that's the old map where's my new map I made a new map but they they changed the way maps work so uh, that's all I got because of the resolution. I've got to look up maps again and see how that differs now. Okay, and it looks like it's getting to be dark. So it's looking to me like we're probably going to be spending the night with the villagers and uh, possibly chasing off zombies if need be. Hopefully the villagers are smart enough to go indoors. He is. Yeah, I'll join you, buddy. Okay, don't worry. We'll be fine. All right, but anyway, this is uh, this is good for one episode. That isn't a villager out there, is it? No, it isn't. 
yeah, we'll be safe as long as the um, uh, as long as they all make it indoors. They're fine because this is normal mode, and the zombies can't knock down doors. In the hard mode, of course, the uh, zombies could knock down the doors, and they would kill all the villagers. And this is a very valuable village because it's fairly large, well populated, has lots of villagers in it, and it might be an avenue for future uh, settlement uh, as the uh, all these villagers could provide me with a great deal of riches. There's one. Look at him. See him? Hey, stay away from the door, idiot. He can hit you. Just stay over there. Yeah, good job. Okay. I can kill him right quick, though. There. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Man, I didn't know they could get to them through the doors, so that's a problem. All right, I might need to put some defenses around this village. So I don't know how long I'm going to be around here. This is uh, this is quite exciting. Of course, I am uh, motivated. I have so many things on the to-do list now. I've got to uh, change around the flooring plan in the uh, uh, the ranch because I want to use carpeting. I need to uh, get back to the, the secret laboratory because it's not even half finished. It might be about half finished. Got a lot of stuff to do. The biggest experiments are yet to come. I've got another secret thing that I've been planning for a very long time. And um, haven't even started on it. Just been gathering stuff so far. And here we are in a great village near a roofed forest. Gathering up stuff. One dark oak sapling. And a variety of other things. Three boats. Okay, that'll be enough to get back with. But anyway, we'll see you next time. And I have no idea exactly uh, where we're going to be going from here. Uh, so we'll probably pick up here and uh, see where it goes. Got some stuff around here to look at too. So this is Mark II signing out. See you in about one week. Okay. This is not uh, some kind of a dungeon or a cave or anything. We're back at the ranch. The, um, the whole process of getting stuff over by the village, uh, I filled up everything I had. I filled up my entire... Uh, inventory. I wasn't able to carry anymore, so I decided to come back over here. And I got here, and I started. Uh, I pulled this out, and I figured it might be a good time to uh, to show off the uh, uh, the T flip flop down here. This is all of the electronics, uh, the redstone from uh, that makes the uh, the entire. Uh, secret passageway here work so when we uh, we press this that connects to uh, the um, connects right over there and sends a signal and then causes the flip-flop to flip and then when you press it again or you press this one here uh, that causes it to flop and and there you go. That's all the magic behind it. Now here's where we're going to test this out. I don't know whether that's going to work or not. But um, I don't know if I'd be able to put anything. I don't really necessarily need to uh, put anything. Uh, put the carpet on top of the... top of these, but how is this going to work? I could have sworn that has to be um, uncovered because you can't have anything on top of the redstone. It'll break the circuit. So this must have been like this. don't have enough hardened clay to uh, do the entire
project. So basically what I'll be doing is um, uh, piecemeal here. I'll do as much as I can and then I'll head back over to the village and work on fixing that up. It could change to another color. Let's make sure this all works still. So far so good. Okay. Now let's see if this one out here works. Sounds like it. Uh, yes, it does work. Okay. So now let's make a little carpet. I think we can make carpet... Um, Yeah, don't need a bench for it. And that gives us a lot of blue carpet. And so, go apply that up here. This is the thing I'm kind of worried about is will that work? So let's try that out. And it seems to. Okay. Oh, but there's a problem. It comes off. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll have to worry about that some other time. Can't put it there because there's a button there. Okay. Or there. Or there. All right, so what's going to have to happen with those, and probably this one too, is uh, those are going to have to be uh, returned to being wool, blue wool. So we'll need to go get some more blue wool, and uh, then we'll make that work. But, um, okay, for now, that's how that's going to work. Uh, now I've got a little extra blue carpet. But I did have another uh, experiment that I wanted to do. I looked up the uh, issue with the map. Uh, we can apparently zoom the map out with a little bit of paper. There's apparently a bug involved with this. So which one of these maps is the one that we want to deal with? I don't remember. So let's see here. It's this one. Okay. So let's get this one out of the way so we'll know which one it is. And then we uh, we put the paper, or we put the map there, and we should be able to um, zoom in. And you, you can't use Control-Click on this. Uh, it's a bug. So we won't use Control-Click. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at now, but this is not a not what I expected. All right. Maybe it's been destroyed. I have to go back out there. Okay. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the issue with that. All right, so now, in order to fix this, I'll probably want to... Can I get these without destroying them? It'll take a long time. Let me get a pick. I have a pick in here. Let's make one. And... Um, I have a lot of picks. Here's one. Coming up. There we go. Woohoo! Getting an upgrade. Okay. Achievement get. All right. What's going to have to happen here is that's got to come out, and we'll replace that with with blue wool. Uh, it won't be abs. It won't be ideal. This is not going to be the ideal solution. Uh, maybe it's the best we can do. And we need more blue wool. But that's going to be boring. So um, why don't I just catch you back in about a second. 
and we'll see uh, how far I got with this before running out of all this clay and then probably once that's done we'll head back over to that village and see what we do and then we'll figure out what's going on with this map.